small for you? Stay there with Papa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey busy bees, I'm back and today I thought I would start my mom series. I know it's not Monday or mom days today, but today is a good a day to start as any. So I wanted to start off with something that's really been um, not close to me or challenging to me so much as it is just something that has really stuck to me the past month, especially during the 30 day series. This is gonna be my life as a working mom and just how I kind of sort myself out and how I get by. Moms, working moms particularly are heroes. I don't know how you guys do it. Thankfully, I have a flexible enough job that I work from home um, every day, but I still hold two jobs. Yes, I have two jobs. My YouTube career and also I work in the travel industry. Um, and after having Eresi, I switched to part-time which still feels a lot like a full-time job because we have such a small staff and um, I hold a lot of the knowledge in the company. So I'm constantly doing stuff that is not, is no longer my role. So just, you know, being a working mom and trying to be there for your child is hard. So if you guys are a working mom, I give you the biggest round of applause. The first tip and something that I've learned this past month was to ask for help. When Nate and I decided to do the 30 day challenge, we thought we could handle having a baby at home, raising uh, an eight month old baby, all the while filming and juggling our other duties as a human being. And it was really, really hard, let me tell you. Once my mom came down last week to help us out, it was like, Oh, I could come, I could finally come up for air again. Just asking for help and having her come down just kind of took a big weight off. Not that Aracy is a lot of work. No, she really is at this point because she's starting to become mobile. So you really have to watch every little thing. But having my mom just having a, a third helping hand allowed us to rest a little bit more rest is so important especially when you're working but for 30 days straight it really takes a toll on you but also when i'm super busy the first thing that i forget to do is eat so i for me i like to cook at home and you guys know that um but i don't like to go out every day because for a while we were not eating we were not eating and we were just eating the stuff that we were cooking and sometimes that's not like a full meal. So luckily I don't have just help from my mom, but I have help from Plated who's able to deliver fresh food to my house and all I have to do is cook it up. I've partnered with Plated and what I love about them is that they have dishes that I typically wouldn't cook for myself. So it's just this week I ordered beef kibbe and nasi goreng and then this like share cookie platter which is really cool. I haven't made the cookie platter yet because I am sticking to the 30 days, so I will be making that actually today because the 30 day is over. What I love about them is they allow me to be adventurous in my cooking. So nasi goreng and beef kibbe isn't something that I would typically cook. And what's really cool is that all the food comes already measured out and I just have to throw it together based on their um, directions. Having things already prepared and prepped and all I have to do is cook it together saves so much time and it allows me to eat a balanced meal still. If you guys are interested in trying it out, be sure to check the code, especially for my viewers, Honey60. Typically, they offer new customers only 50%, but for Busy Bees, they're offering you guys 60%. So if you guys happen to try it out, do let me know what you think. I mean, there's so many interesting stuff on the menu that really allows us to be in like adventurous for me when i was looking through the menu i was thinking mm, this looks good that looks good 
kind of wanted everything, but hey, also these adventurous dishes really inspires me to kind of mix and match and come up with my own like new dishes. So not only does it help feed me, it kind of sparks my creativity too. So I really like that. So lesson number two for me that I learned throughout the past 30 days was to set boundaries. Since I work part time, you know, I have to make a time a window for myself when the office can call and time for me to be with Aresi and time for me to work on YouTube. So a lot of times I get calls ringing as soon as like 8.30 in the morning and I feel like I have to get it and I have to answer and get back to them right away. But after a while, I felt like I was working around the clock and that's not part time. That's really just taking a toll on me. So really having to set boundaries saying like, no, my office hours for this job is from two to six and I will be able to get back to you with anything that you'd like. But I know that sometimes work doesn't wait for my schedule. So I try to just have to prioritize um, what's important to get back right away and what not to get back right away. But setting boundaries has been something that's been really hard for me because I was always the yes person. I would say yes to taking on any new projects because I'm a people pleaser. I want people to be happy with my work. I want them to be you know, to rely on me knowing that I'm gonna do a good job. And I still hold those kind of values, but being able to prioritize and set those boundaries has been a big challenge for me to push back, to balance my life so that I don't go crazy. And finally, the last tip that I learned is to be present. When I'm filming, sometimes my mind is off somewhere kind of thinking, okay, is Erisi okay? Is she standing up? Is she this or that? Or when I'm working on my other job, I'm thinking, oh shoot, did I Instagram? Oh shoot, I need to do this and that for this recipe. Oh, what am I gonna test next? And that really messes with my head. Like I'm all over the place. You guys know in my 30 days series, I told you guys I wasn't able to sleep, not only because of Eresy, but also because I was so stressed out. I was stressed out about work. I got overwhelmed thinking about how many days we have left and how many days we have to film a certain dish and what I should do to make it interesting. And so that really took a toll on me. So I learned to just shut everything out and just be present. If I'm filming and I'm working on honeysuckle, I need to just think about that. Obviously, if the baby's crying, then I need to go get her, but I just need to make sure she's comfortable, that she is happy, fed, and we really started to implement the scheduling, the nap schedule once grandma was here, so that was so nice to be able to have someone be on hand with Erisi. Um, when she was crying, if she wasn't able to nap, to rock her back. I wish I could be there to do that for her too, but just with my crazy schedule, I wasn't able to do that for every single nap, especially since you guys know she wasn't sleeping. So being present when I'm working on a certain project and just focusing on that has really, really helped with compartmentalizing my stress level, if that makes sense. Just that I shouldn't be spending my time with Eresi thinking about work and I should be just there with her, playing with her and if I'm working, just thinking about that. So that's really helped. That's a lesson that I'm still trying to learn and implement just for my own sanity, but it's, it's a work in progress. Anyway, so mom days, I want it to be kind of a conversation between you and I. I am still a new mom and I'm learning so much. The only thing that I can say that I've really mastered is making baby food. So I will definitely be sharing a lot of baby food recipes during um, mom days, but I would love to know what you guys wanna talk about. If you guys have any tips for me, if you guys, you guys actually have been helping me so much during this whole process of being a new mom, giving me tips why Eresi wasn't sleeping, books to read, stuff like that. So I really appreciate it. Let's keep the conversation going. And if you guys have any ideas for mom days, I would love to know what they are. Comment below and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next mom day. Bye.